Welcome back to Scale Model Review. Um, today I've got a, uh, a monster bargain that came in the post today. Uh, this is the uh, one of the Hasegawa mat kits, um, the Machinum Krieger. Uh, this is a Lunar Diver Stingray, which is uh, a 135 scale. Um, now these are uh, science sci-fi figures. Um, Hasegawa do a Mac range, which is all their futuristic stuff. Uh, but Hannans have got a special on these at the moment. They're reduced from 84.995, which is what they need, 84.99, uh, down to £23.75. Um, they also do the full Candy Gravity Armoured Raider, which is usually £75, um, and that's been reduced to 16 quid. So uh, it's one of these things, uh, I've always wanted to do a sci-fi one, um, and uh, believe it or not, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, I didn't think it would be this big. But um, the box is lovely. Um, it comes in a really kind of retro-y, steampunk kind of style box. Um, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one. I know it's going to be a while to add it to the list. But uh, anyway, let's have a look inside. Right, we have uh, cream sprues, cream and green. Several sprues, there's about quite a few actually. Uh, considering this is actually, this is meant to be um, uh, like a personnel, um, like a large, um, I would say, probably powered suit for uh, some personnel. Um, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sprues there, quite a lot of plastic. So let's, let's just have a look and see what we've got. Look in the first sprue. Okay, well we've got what looks like the shell, the outside of the suit. Um, the uh, the details nice, a nice level of detail. Very clean, Chris. It's very hard, um, very hard plastic indeed, which is nice. Um, there's not a lot of engraving like there are on normal models, but what is there, you can see that you'd be able to pick that out quite well. Um, but that looks like a, like some sort of carapace. Um, some doors. Got some more here. I have no idea what half of these parts are, <laughs> which is weird. Um, but uh, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting project. Got to put a couple more. There's no crash on these at all by the looks of it. No, none at all on it. It's, I've got to say, the uh, the actual moulds, the, the things that sound very clean and it's extremely um, hard edged, which you would expect you know, some sort of sci-fi um, model to be. Uh, I've seen some great renditions of this on the internet. I had a quick look before I opened up the box just to see... Um, you know what people have managed to do with this um and uh to be quite honest with it it's, it's it's i think any figure painting of any type like that is really clever um and uh they've done some amazing work and some of these turned out absolutely beautiful so uh, i'm looking forward to this it's going to be a lot of new weathering techniques for this i think and a lot of new painting techniques as well uh, the sprues as i say there's uh, i don't know what's on a lot of the sprues but they're all in very, it's all this hard plastic, which is great. Um, you know, and I don't know what any of the stuff is, to be honest with you. I haven't got a clue looking at it. Um, but uh, the detail is good. Um, that's a nice little hands there. Let me see if this works. Okay. You can see the hands on the sprue there, the arms. Um... But uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be this is going to be uh, actually quite a lot of fun to put together. Mainly because I haven't got a clue how it goes together. Like you can, if you look at a um, uh, a plane model um, and you look at the sprue, you can say, well, yep, yeah, that goes there, that goes there. I'll probably build that first or second, do that bit first, you know. And you can visualise how it builds up. This, no idea at all. Um, now, the this is the uh, 
sprue with the figure on it. Um, and I've got to say that the figure has actually got quite a bit of flash on it. Um, if you can see here, okay, all around here, um, it's quite a bit of flash all around the figure. Uh, there's also what you would probably call the cockpit or the seat. Uh, now that is uh, some lovely detail on there, some pipes and wires and things like that. So that's uh, uh, something that will take a bit of bit, bit of time over doing and everything. <clears throat> Weathering wise, you can really go to town on these guys. Uh, lots of chipping. You know, it's a suit that's in everyday use and. I mean, this is a lunar diver, so I would imagine it's a lunar diver stingray. So I would imagine it's actually some sort of um, flying, um, if it's a lunar diver, rather than uh, in any uh, water or anything like that. So um, it's going to have lots of pit marks and things like that, which would be good to, to practice on. Um, there is a base. This is a base for it. That looks quite solid and nice. I so say it's all very, um, all very steampunky. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun putting it together. Right, what else have we got in the box? We've got decals. <clears throat> right, again, not don't know really what to expect, but um, they're really nice decals. Uh, they're they're um, they're matte without being too flat, if that makes sense. Um, you can see that how these would blend in with um with a very warm uh, surface detail okay a very nice set of details <clears throat> and i can see that these are going to be like ghost shadows and everything on the the actual carapace itself but uh, there's also a, a card in there which is the decal sheet which is quite nice i suppose you could keep that as a as a reference card of sorts but uh, there are actually three different schemes, um, several different regiments and squadrons, uh, which is excellent, which you can see here. So it's not a case of just having one option with the decals. Okay, there's uh, several things you can do, and there's uh, <clears throat> all three different paint schemes as well, uh, which is nice. And uh, I've got to say, I do, I do fancy that one actually. That's quite a nice scheme, I think. Um, but uh, I think this is one of those that, when I've um, got enough time, this will be going. Uh, this will start going because it's something new. Um, you've got some instructions here how it all goes together. Quite simple, actually, uh, considering what how many sprues there are and how you can't really tell what it's like. But that gives you an idea of what it builds up to to look like at the end. And as you can see, there's this jet here, so I'll, I'm, it's definitely a, a, a space-driven uh, suit. Um, and there's another set of... Uh, yeah, there's another set. Yeah, I see. So this is the actual suit itself. So there's a basic suit. And then you've got uh, another, which is like a shell. Um, that the guy sits in. I can kind of get the idea from there okay um, and if you have a look here there's actually a guy climbing out of it so you can kind of see the uh, the kind of scale of it with regards to the figure that's included um, so it looks like one sits inside of the other um, that's what I would imagine happens here um, or you have the the outside guy. No, no, they're two separate things completely. Well, that's uh, so. If I'm understanding this right, that's two complete separate models. I think um, it looks like a suit, and then you've got um, the actual uh, vehicle itself. Um, so it's something I'm definitely going to have to have a look at because I'm not 100% sure how that builds up. So, uh, oh, all very exciting. So it's all different. So, uh, but overall, um, I mean, I saw it's one of those things you see, you see them on the internet, you see how people, what the people work have done on the weathering they've done, the work they've done, you think, God, oh, that's really clever, that's really good, it's really built that bit of plastic up into something vibrant and lifelike. 
And I thought, well, you know, I've always wanted to do something like this, but in a price, when they're 85 quid a pop, you think, well, I'm not going to drop 85 pounds on something that I'm not sure I like. And uh, you're not sure how you're going to, um, how it's going to turn out because you've never done one before. But at 20 quid, it's the same as most 148 scale aircraft. Um, and you get to give it a good go. Um, and uh, I think I should enjoy doing that. I'll do a, I did get the, as I said, I did get the, um, in the same series, I've got the Falker Anti-Gravity Armoured Raider, which I'll do a review on next week or something. I don't know how long this special deal's on at Hannant's, but, I mean, that's 60% that's off, over 60% off of its um, normal price. And this is what they've been selling at as well. So I think it's an absolute bargain. Um, and even if you haven't tried anything like this and you thought to yourself, well, I think now's the time to do it because I don't think you're going to get another chance at that sort of price because everywhere else, I've checked all the other websites, they're all 85, 95 pounds. This. So at 20, 23 quid, it's an absolute bargain. But it's a, it's a Machinen Krieger and it's a Luna Diver Stingray in 135 scale from Hasegawa. And that's their Mac M A K Machine and Krieger range. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you like it, subscribe. Um, but uh, until next time, uh, goodbye.